ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय ओम नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय विल कंटिन्यू आर रीडिंग फ्रॉम श्री चैतन्य चरितामृत अंतलीला चैप्टर थ्री ग्लोरीज ऑफ शिला हरिदास ठाकुर वर्ष नंबर नाइन्टी फोर ऑनवर्ड्स मुकम करोति वाचनम पंगुम नंदे देवी दिन कृपा तम नंदे श्री गुरु नियंतायनम ब्रह्मानंद माधवम श्री चैतन्य ईश्वर नम प्रियंता सा श्री चैतन्य महाप्रभु सॉरी द वर्स फर्स्ट भक्तेरा गुण कहते प्रभुर बाड़ाए उल्लास भक्त गण श्रेष्ठ तापे श्री हरिदास श्री चैतन्य महाप्रभु डिराइव ग्रेट प्लेजर फ्रॉम ग्लोरिफाइंग हिज डिवोटीज एंड अमंग द डिवोटीज हरिदास ठाकुर इज द फोर मोस्ट वर्स नाइन्टी फाइव हरिदासेर गुण गण असंख्य अपार केह कोन अंशे वर्णे नाहे नाही पाए पार The transcendental qualities of Haridas Thakur are innumerable and unfathomable. One may describe a portion of them, but to continue them all is impossible. Verse ninety-six. Chetanya Mangale Shri Vinda Vandas Haridasir Kona Kichu Kariya Chen Prakash. In the Chetanya Mangal, Shri Shri Vinda Vandas Thakur has described the attributes of Haridas Thakur to some extent. Verse ninety-seven. सब कहा ना याय हरिदासे रचरित्र केह किचु कहे करिते अपना पवित्र नो वन कैन डिस्क्राइब ऑल द क्वालिटीज ऑफ हरिदास ठाकुर वन मे से समथिंग अबाउट देम जस्ट टू प्योरिफाई हिमसेल्फ वर्स नाइन्टी एट वृंदावन दास यह ना कैला वर्णन हरिदासे रुण किचु शुन भक्त गण ओ डिवोटीज ऑफ श्री चैतन्य महाप्रभु प्लीज हेयर समथिंग अबाउट द क्वालिटीज ऑफ हरिदास ठाकुर दास श्री Vindavan Das Thakur has not described in detail. Verse ninety nine, Haridas ya be nijer griha tyag kaila, be na polera vana madhe keta din rahila. After leaving his home, Haridas Thakur stayed for some time in the forest of Be na pol. Verse hundred, Nirjana vane kutir kari tulasi se vana ratri dinay tina laksha naam sankirtan. Haridas Thakur constructed a cottage in a solitary forest. There he planted the tulsi plant, and in front of the tulsi he would chant the holy name of the Lord three hundred thousand times daily. He chanted throughout the entire day and night. Perfect. By Shri Prabhupada, Shri Prabhupada ki jai. The village of Benapol is situated in the district of Yashohar Jessore, which is now in Bangladesh. Benapol is near the Bangao station, which is at the border of Bangladesh and may be reached. By the Eastern Railway from Sialda Station in Calcutta, Haridas Thakur, being the acharya of chanting the Hare Krishna Maha Mantra, is called Nama Acharya. Haridas Thakur, from his personal example, we can understand that chanting the Hare Krishna Maha Mantra and becoming highly elevated in Krishna consciousness is very simple. Without difficulty, one can sit down anywhere, especially on the bank of Ganges, Yamuna, or any other sacred river. Devise a sitting place or cottage, plant a tulsi tree, and before the tulsi chant the Hare Krishna Maha Mantra undisturbed. Haridas Thakur used to chant the holy name on his beads three hundred thousand times a day. Throughout the entire day and night, he would chant the sixteen names of the Hare Krishna Maha Mantra. One should not, however, imitate Haridas Thakur, for no one else can chant the holy name three hundred thousand times a day. Such chanting is for the mukta purush or liberated soul. We can follow his example, however, by chanting sixteen rounds of the Hare Krishna Maha Mantra on beads every day and offering respect to the tulsi plant. This is not at all difficult for anyone, and the process of chanting the Hare Krishna Maha Mantra with a vow before the tulsi plant has such a great spiritual potency that simply by doing this one can become spiritually strong. Therefore, we request the members of the Hare Krishna movement to follow the Hare Das Thakur's example rigidly. Chanting sixteen rounds does not take Much time, nor is offering respects to the tulsi plant difficult. The process has immense spiritual potency. One should not miss this opportunity. Verse hundred and one. Brahmaneer gare gare diksha nirvahana prabhave sakal lok gare pujan. For his bodily maintenance, he would go to the brahman's house and beg some food. He was spiritually so influential that all the neighboring people worshipped him. Purport in the days of Haridas Thakur, all the Brahmins worshipped Narayan in the form of Shaligram Shila. 
Therefore, begging from a Brahman's house meant taking Krishna Prasadam, which is transcendental. If we take gun from the houses of others, such as Karmis, we shall have to share the qualities of those from whom we take alms. Therefore, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu took Prasadam in the houses of Vaishnavas. This is the general process. The members of the Krishna Consciousness team, sorry, movement are advised not to take food from anywhere but the Vaishnava or Brahman's house where deity worship is performed. Srila Chaitanya Mahaprabhu took prasadam in the houses of Vaishnav. This is the general process. The members of the Krishna Consciousness movement are advised not to take food from anywhere but the Vaishnavas or Brahman's house where deity worship is performed. Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has said Vish, Vishayariya if a devotee takes arms of food from the house of a karmi who is simply interested in money, his mind will become unclean. Okay. We must always remember that a devotee's life is one of Vidya <coughs> or is <clears throat> or renunciation and knowledge therefore all devotees are warned not to live unnecessarily luxurious life in the cost at the cost of others grestas living in the within the jurisdiction of the temple must be especially careful not to imitate karmis by acquiring opulent clothing food and conveyances as far as possible this should be avoided a member of the temple whether grestha brahmachari or sannyasi must practice a life of renunciation following in the footsteps of Haridas Thakur and the six Goswamis. Otherwise, because Maya is very strong, at any time one may become a victim of Maya and fall down from the spiritual life. Verse 102 Say Desha Dhyaksha Nama Ramachandra Khanan Vaishna Vidveshi Say Pashand Pradhan a landlord named Ramchandra Khan was a zamindar of that district. He was envious of Vaishnavas and was therefore a great atheist. Verse 103 Haritase loke puje sahite na pare tandra apaman karite na na upaye kare. Unable to tolerate that such respect was being offered to Haridas Thakur, Ramchandra Khan planned in various way to, ways to dishonor him. Verse 104 Kon prakare haridasera chidra nahi pae vishya gane ani kare chidrera upaye. By no means could he find any fault in the character of Haridas Thakur, therefore he called for local prostitutes and began a plan to discredit his holiness. Purpa, this is typical of atheistic men, but even among so called religionists, sadhu, mendicants, Sannyasis and Brahmacharis, there are many enemies of the Krishna Consciousness Movement who always try to find fault, faults in others, in it, not considering that the movement is spreading automatically by the grace of Lord Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, who wanted it spread all over the world in every town and village. We are trying to fulfill the Lord's desire and our attempt has become fairly successful, but the enemies of this movement unnecessarily find try to find faults in it, exactly like the old rascal Ramchandra Khan who opposed Haridas Thakur. <clears throat> Verse 105 Vaishya Gane Kahe E Vairagi Haridas Tumi Sab Kar Ihar Vairagya Dharam Nash Ramchandra Khan said to the prostitutes, this is a there is a mendicant named Haridas Thakur. All of you devise a way to deviate him from his vows of austerity. Purpa devotional service is the path of Vairagya Vidya, renunciation and knowledge. Ridas Thakur was following this path, but Ramchandra Khan planned to induce him to break his vows. Renunciation means renunciation of sensual pleasure, especially the pleasure of opposite sex. Therefore, a brahmachari, sannyasi or vanprastha is strictly prohibited from having relationships with women. Haridas Thakur was strictly renounced and thus Ramchandra Khan called the prostitutes because they knew how to break a man's vow celibacy by their feminine influence and this pollute a mendicant or a person engaged in devotional life. It was impossible for Ramchandra Khan to induce any other women to break Haridas Thakur's vow and therefore he called for them. Free mingling with women has never been possible in India, but for one who wanted to associate with such, they are available in, in that kind of places. There are prostitutes in human society, even in, 
in Lord Krishna's time, for it is said that they came forth to receive the Lord, although they were prostitutes, they were also devotees of Krishna. Verse 106 Among them, one attractive girl was selected. I shall attract the mind of Haridas Thakur. She promised within three days. Verse 107 Khan kahe mor paik yoka tumar sane tumar sahita ek Ramchandra Khan said to her, My constable will go with you so that as soon as he sees you with Haridas Thakur, immediately he will arrest him and bring both of you to me. Verse 108 She replied, First let me have uh, see him, then second time I shall take your constable with me to arrest him. Verse 109. Ratri Kale E Vesha Suvesha Dhariya Harida Sera Vasai Gela Ulla Sita Tena. At night she dressed herself most attractively. She went to the cottage of Haridas Thakur with great jubilation. Verse 110. Tulasi Namaskari Harida Sera Dware Yana Gosani Re Namaskari Rahila Dan Dana. After offering obeisances to the Tulsi plant, she went to the door of Haridas Thakur, offered him obeisances and stood there. Verse 111 Anga Ughadiya Dekhai Vasila Duyar Kahite Lagila Kichu Sumadhur Sware Exposing part of her body to his view, she sat down on the threshold of the door and spoke to him in very sweet words. Verse 112 Thakur tumi param sundar prathama yavana tuma dekhi kona nari dharite pare mana. My dear Thakur, oh great preacher, great devotee, you are so beautifully built. Your youth is just beginning. Who is the woman who could control her mind after seeing you? Verse 113 Tumara sanga mulagi lubdha nor mana toma na paile prana na yae dharana. I'm eager to be united with you. Mommy, mind is greedy for this. If I don't obtain you, I shall not be able to keep my body and soul together. Verse 114. Ridas kahe 14 and 115. Ridas kahe toma karimo angikar sankhya nam sampati samapti yavat na hai amar. Tavat tumi vasi shuna nam sankirtan nam samapti haile karimo ye tomar mana. Haridas Thakur said, I shall accept you without fail, but you will have to wait until I have finished chanting my regular rounds on my beads. Until that time, please sit and listen to the chanting of the holy name. As soon as I am finished, I shall fulfill your desire. Verse 116, Tashuni Hearing this, she remained sitting there while Haridas Thakur chanted on his beads until the light of the morning appeared. Verse 117 Pratha Kal Deki Vesha Uthiya Chalila Sab Samachar Yei Khaner Kahila. When she saw that it was morning, the prostitute stood up and left. Coming before Ramchandra Khan, she informed him of all the news. Verse 118 Aji Ama Angikar Kariyache Vachane Kali Avashya. Tahar Sange Hai Be Sangame. Today, Hrida Sakur has promised to enjoy with me. Tomorrow, certainly, I shall have union with him. Verse 119. Aradin Ratri Haile Vesha Aila. Hrida Stare Bahu Ashwas Karila. The next night, when, the, when she came again, Hrida Sakur gave her many assurances. Verse 120. Kali Dukha Paila Aparad Na La Iba Mor. Avashya karimu ami tomai angikar. The last night you were disappointed. Please excuse my offense. I shall certainly accept you. Verse 121. Tavat iha vasi shuna nama sankirtan nama purna haile purna habe tomar mana. Please sit down and hear the chanting of the Hare Krishna Mahamantra. Until my regular chanting is finished, then you, your desire will surely be fulfilled. Verse 122, Tul, Tulasire Tanke Vesha Namaskara Kari Dware Vasi Nama Shune Bale Hari Hari. After offering her obeisances to the Tulsi 
plant in Haridas Thakur. She sat down at the door hearing Haridas Thakur chanting the Hare Krishna Mahamantra. She also chanted, O oh my Hari, Lord Hari, O oh my Lord Hari. Purport, herein one can clearly see how a Vaishnav delivers a fallen soul, soul by transcendental trick. The prostitute came to pollute Haridas Thakur, but he took it as his duty to deliver her as clearly demonstrated here. The process of deliverance is very simple with faith and reverence. The prostitute associated with Haridas Thakur, who personally treated her material disease by chanting the Hare Krishna Mahamantra, although the prostitute had an ulterior motive somehow or other, she got the association of Vaishnav and satisfied him by occasionally chanting chanting in imitation, O oh my Lord Hari, O oh my Lord Hari. The conclusion is that the associating with the Vaishnav, chanting the holy name of the Lord and offering obeisances to Tulsi plant or Vaishnav all lead one to become transcendental devotee who is completely cleaned, cleansed of all material contamination. Verse 123, Ratri Shesh Haila Vaishya Usimisi Kare tar riti dekhi haridas kahena tare. When the night came to an end, the prostitute was restless. Seeing this, Haridas Thakur spoke to her as follows. Verse 124 Koti nam grahana yajna kari ek maase e diksha kariyachi haila ashi sheshe. I have vowed to chant 10 million names in a month. I have taken this vow, but now it's nearing its end. Purport. If one regularly chants, 333,333 names daily for a month, 30 days, and then chants 10 more names. He will be just chanting 10 million names. In this way, a devotee worships the Supreme Personality of God. At such worship is called Yajna. Yajna Sankirtan Prayera Yajanti Hisu Se Medashaha. Those whose intelligence is brilliant accept this Harinam Yajna, the Yajna of chanting of the holy name of the Lord. By performing this Yajna, one satisfies the Supreme Personality of Godhead and thus attains perfection in spiritual life. According to external vision, Haridas Thakur belonged to Muslim family. Nevertheless, because he engaged himself in performing the Yajna of chanting the Hare Krishna Mahamantra, he became a regularly initiated Brahman as stated in Srimad Bhagavatam 3.33.6. Yanama Dhea Shravananu Kirtanad Yat Pravanad Yat Smaranad Api Kvachit Swado Api Sadhyaha Svanaya Kalpate Kutaha Punaste Bhagwan No Darshanat. Even if a devotee comes from a family of dog eaters, if he surrenders to the personality of Godhead, he immediately becomes a qualified Brahman and is immediately fit to perform Yajna wherever. As a person born in a family of Brahmins has to wait until completing the reformatory process before he may be called Samkrita, Samskrita, purified. It is further said in Srimad Bhagavatam 12.1.40 Asamkrita Kriya Hina Rajasa Tamas Tamsavta Prajaste Bhakshyashanti Mlecha Rajanya Rupina. In the age of Kali, Mlechas or low born people have not undergone the purifying process of samskar, who do not know how to apply the process in actual life and who are covered by the mods of fashion and ignorance will take the posts of administrators. They will devour the citizens of their atheistic vision activities. A person who is not purified by the prescribed process of samskar is called a samskrit, but if one remains kriya hina, even after being purified by initiation, in other words, if one fails to actually apply the principles of purity in his life, he remains an unpurified mlecha or yavana. On the other hand, we find that Haridas Thakur, the born in a mlecha or yavana family, became Namachar Haridas Thakur because he performed the Nama Yajna, a minimum of 300,000 times a day. Hence, we find that Haridas Thakur strictly followed his regulative principle of chanting 300,000 names. Thus, <coughs> when the friend prostitute becomes, became restless, he informed her that first he had to finish his chanting and then he 
would be able to satisfy her. Actually, the Thakur chanted the holy name of the Lord for three nights continuously and gave her a chance to hear him. Thus, she became purified, as will be seen in the following verses. Verse 125 Aji Samapta Haide Ena Gyan Chila Samasta Datri Nilun Nama Samapta Na Haila. I thought that today I would be able to finish my performance of Yagya by chanting of the Hare Krishna Mahamantra. I tried my best to chant the Holy Name all night, but I still did not finish. Verse 126 Kali Samaptaha Behab Tapeha Bevrutta Pranga Sachande Tumar Sange Sange Ha Ibeka Sanga. Tomorrow I will surely finish and my vow will be fulfilled. Then it will be possible for me to enjoy with you all in full freedom. Purport Haridas Thakur never wanted to enjoy her, but he tricked her to deliver her by giving her a chance to hear the holy name of the Lord which, while he was of the Lord while he chanted. Pure devotees chant the Hare Krishna Mahamantra and simply by hearing this chanting from a purified transcendental person, one is purified with all of all the sinful activities, no matter how low born or fallen one may be, as soon as one is completely full free from the reactions of sinful activities, he is simply eligible to render devotional service to Lord. This is the process of engaging the fallen souls in devotional service. As Lord Krishna says in Bhagavad Gita 1.28, Isham tu antagatam papam jananam punya karmanam te dvandu moha nibukta bhajante maam dridharvata Persons who have acted piously in previous lives live and in this life and those sinful activities are completely eradicated or moved uh, sorry eradicated are freed from the duality of delusion and they engage themselves in my service with determination. Verse 127 Veshya Gya Rasamachara Khan Nere Kaila Ardin Sandhya Haite Thakur Thani Aila. The prostitute returned to Rajabhara Khan and informed of him what had happened. Next day, the man came out of earlier. Next day, she came earlier at the beginning of the evening and stayed with Haridas Thakur. After offering obeisances to the Tulsi plant and Haridas Thakur, she sat down on the threshold of the room. Thus she began to hear Haridas Thakur's chanting and she also personally chased, chanted Hari Hari, the holy name of the Lord. Verse 129 Nam Purna Habe Aji Bale Haridas Tabe Purna Karimu Aji Tumar Abe Lash. Today it will be possible for me to finish my chanting. Haridas Thakur informed her, then I shall satisfy all your desires. Verse 130 Kirtan Karite Aichi Ratri Shesh Haila Thakuri Rasane Veshyas. Thakur Kirtan Kadite Aiche Ratri Sheshaila Thakurira Sane Vesha Mai Feri Gera. The night ended while Saridas Thakur was chanting by his association, the mind of the prostitute had changed. Right. Dandavat Hena Pade Thakur Charan, this is verse 131. Ramchandra Khan Nera Katha Kaila Nivedane. I had the prostitute now purified, fell at the lotus feet of Prostitute Rani. 
have feet of Ralidas, Thakur and confessed that Ramsadat Khan had appointed her to pollute him. The prostitute now purified, fell at the lotus feet of Haridas Thakur and confessed that Ramsadat Khan had appointed her to pollute him. Verse 132 Shahina Muni Papa Kariya Chon Apar Kripa Kari Karamno other name is that because you have fallen in the I perform unlimited simple act and Lord be merciful to me deliver my fallen soul verse 133 Thakur Kahe Khanera Kata Sabde Ami Chani Agya Murk Sehi Tare Dukh Nahi Haridas Thakur replied, I know everything about the conspiracy of Ramchandra Khan. He is nothing but an ignorant fool. Therefore, his activities do not make me feel unhappy. Verse 134 said, Nay, Yai Yati Tom Ace Thana Chariya Tin Din Rahidan Rahidan Toma Nistar Lagia. On the very day Ramjan Khan was planning his intrigue against me, I would have <coughs> excuse me <coughs> left this place immediately, but because you came to see me, I stayed here for three days to deliver you. Verse 135 Desha Kahe Kara Upadesh E Mura Kartam Mal Kartan Kartav Yahate The prostitute said kindly act as my spiritual master. Well, let's read the verse again. Vesha kahe kripa kari kara upadesh ki mor kartavya yate yai bhava klesh. She said, kindly act, me, act as my spiritual master. Instruct me in my duty by which I can get relief from material existence. Verse 136. Thakur kahe gharer dravya brahmane kar dena daan e gharer asi tumi kara vishram. Haridas Thakur replied, immediately go home and distribute to the Brahmins whatever property you have, then come back to this room and say, stay here forever in Krishna consciousness. Purport Haridas Thakur instruction that, that the prostitute should distribute the Brahm to all the Brahmins all the property she had at home. It's very significant. Haridas Thakur never advised her to go and give charity to the so-called Daridra Narayans, poor Narayans or my other such disciples. According to According to Vedic civilization, charity should be given only to the qualified Brahmins as stated in Bhagavatam 0.42. Shamo damas tapa shvacham shantir archavam evacha gyanam vijyanam astikyam astikyam brahma karana karma suhavacham. The Brahminical qualifications are truthfulness, control of senses, tolerance, simplicity, simplicity, knowledge, practical application of transcendental knowledge. Mm. Bhagavad Gita 9.2 That he firstly carries to them all their new necessities, yoga, akshema, bahaneham. Uh, whatever uh, uh, in 9.2 Sun Bhagavad Gita Krishna says that Karoshi Yad Karoshi because whatever money they get they spend on Krishna 
वट एवर चैरिटे गिव्स टू ब्राह्मण गोस कृष्ण हु सेज इन भगवत नाइन पॉइंट टू सेवन यद करोषि यद अश्नाशी यद जुहोशी यद ददासी यत यत तपस्यासी कौनते यत तत कुरुष्व मदर्पणम वट एवर यू डू वट एवर यू ईट वट एवर यू ऑफर और गिव वे एंड वट एवर असर्टिस परफॉर्म ओ माई सन Whatever you do, whatever you eat, whatever you offer or give away, whatever austerities you perform, do that, O son of Kunti, as an offering to me. Everything actually keeps, uh, sorry, belongs to Krishna, but so-called civilized men, unfortunately, think that think that everything belongs to them. This is the mistake of materialistic civilization. The prostitute of the Vaishya had earned money by questionable me means, and therefore, at first, have advised her not to disturb to the Brahmins wherever he possessed. Then, when she was it was when he came to. Uh, retired from family life, he distributed fifty percent of his house to the Brahmins and Vaishnavas. The Brahman knows that the absolute truth is, and and the Vaishnav knowing the absolute truth. Uh, what, uh, he distributed 50% of his income to the Brahmins and Vaishnavas. Rupa Goswami, a Brahman knows the absolute truth is, and the Vaishnav knows the absolute truth, acts on behalf of the absolute truth. The Supreme Personality of Godhead generally earns money by many questionable means. Therefore, at some time, one should retire and distribute whatever one has to the Brahmins and Vaishnavas who engage in their devotional service by preaching the glories of the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Person in thirty seven Janta Nam Lau Karatulsi Sevana Achirat Pabet Tabe Krishna Racharana chant the Hare Krishna Mahamantra continuously and render service to the Tulsi Pran by watering her and offering prayers in her way to her. In this way, you will very soon get the opportunity to be sheltered at the lotus feet of Krishna. Purport. At least 5,000 years ago, Lord Krishna expressed his desire that every mem everyone surrenders to him. This is... Why is it... Right. <coughs> why is the people... Why is that people cannot do this? Krishna shows Aham Twam Sarva Bhavi Moksha Shamaasya. I shall deliver you from all the sinful reactions. Do not fear. Everyone is suffering from the rest, results of sinful activities. But Krishna says that if one surrenders unto Him, He will protect one from sinful reactions. Modern civilization, however, is interested neither in Krishna nor in getting relief from the sinful acts. Therefore, men are suffering. Surrender is the ultimate instruction of Bhagavad Gita. But for one who cannot surrender to the lotus feet of Krishna, it is better to chant the Hare Krishna Ma Mantra constantly under the instruction of Haridas Thakur. In our Krishna consciousness movement, we are teaching our followers to chant the Hare Krishna Ma Mantra continuously on beads. Even those who are not accustomed to this practice are advised to chant at least 16 rounds on the beads so that they may be trained. Otherwise, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu recommended Prinada Pishuni Chena Tarur eva saishnuna amani na mandena kirtanya sabari. One should chant the holy name of the Lord in a humble state of mind, thinking oneself lower than the straw in the street. One should be more tolerant than a tree, devoid of false sense of false prestige, and ready to offer all respect to others. In such a state of mind, one can chant the holy name of the Lord constantly. Sada means always. Haridas Thakur says, Nirantar nam lau. Chant the Hare Krishna Maha Mantra without stopping. Although Krishna wants everyone to surrender to his lotus feet because of people's sinful activities, they cannot do this. Namam, Dushkritino, Mura, Papadyante, Naradhama, rascals and fools, the lowest of men, 
who engage in sinful activities cannot suddenly surrender to the lotus feet of Krishna. Nevertheless, if they begin chanting the Hare Krishna mantra and surrendering sir, service unto the Lotusi plant, they will very soon be able to surrender. One's real duty is to surrender to the lotus feet of Krishna. But if one is unable to do so, he should adopt this process as introduced by Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and his most confidential, confidential servant, Namacharya Shilaridas Thakur. This is the way to achieve success in Krishna consciousness. Verse 38, Eta Bali Tare Nam Upadesh Kari Uthiya Chalega Thakur Bali Hari Hari. Thus, after thus instructing the prostitute about the process of chanting Hare Krishna Mahamantra, Haridas Thakur stood up and left continuously chanting Hari Hari. Verse 139, Tabe Saivashya Guru Agya Laila Griha Vitta Yeba Chila Brahmanere Dila. Thereafter, the prostitute distributed to the brahmanas whatever household possession she had following the order of her spiritual master purpose sometimes the word grihavritti is substituted for the word grihavritta vritti means profession the grihavritti of the prostitute was to enchant foolish people and induce them to indulge in wrong relationship here the, however grihavritti is not a suitable word the proper word is grihavritta which means all the possessions she had in her home, all the girls' possessions had been earned by the wrong means and therefore products of her sinful life. When such possessions are given to the Brahmanas and Vaishnavas who can engage them in the service of the Lord because of their advancement in spiritual life, this indirectly helps the person who gives the charity for he is thus relieved of sinful reactions. As Krishna promises, Aham Tvam Sarapapi Bhyo Mokshe Shami, I shall save you from all the sinful reactions. Whenever Krishna conscious devotees go out to beg charity or collect contributions in the form of membership fees, the money thus coming to the Krishna consciousness movement is strictly employed to advance Krishna consciousness all over the world. The Krishna consciousness devotees, conscious devotees collect the money of others for the service of Krishna and they are satisfied with Krishna's prasadam and whatever he gives them for their maintenance. They do not desire material comforts. However, they go to the great pains to engage the possessions of others who are more or less like, like this prostitute in the service of the Lord and thus free them from sinful reactions. A Vaishnava Guru accepts money or other contributions, but he does not employ such contributions for sense gratification. A pure Vaishnava thinks himself unfit to help free even one person from the reactions of sinful life. But he engages one's heart and one in the service of the Lord and thus frees one from sinful reactions. A Vaishnava Guru is never dependent on the contributions of his disciples. Following the instructions of Haridas Thakur, a pure Vaishnava does not personally take even a single paisa from anyone but he induces his followers to spend for the service of the Lord whatever possessions they have. Verse 140 Matha Muri Ek Vastri Rahila Se Ghare Ratri Dine Teen Lakshan Nam Grahana Kare That prostitute, she shaved her head clean in accordance with the Vaishnava principles and stayed in the room wearing only one cloth following in the footsteps of her spiritual master. She began chanting the holy name of Krishna. 300,000 times a day she chanted throughout the entire day and night. Verse 141 Tulsi Sevan Kare Charvana Upavas Indriya Daman Haila Premere Prakash. He worshipped the Tulsi plant. Following in the footsteps of her spiritual master, instead of eating regularly, she chewed whatever food she received as alms. And if nothing was supplied, she would fast. Thus, by eating frugally and fasting, she conquered her senses, and soon as her senses were controlled, Symptoms of love of Godhead appeared in her person. Verse 142 Prasiddha Vaishnavi Haila Param Mahanti Bada Bada Vaishnav Tandra Darshane Tayanti. Thus she became a celebrated devotee. She became very advanced in spiritual life, and many stalwart Vaishnavs would come to see her. Purport, stalwart, highly advanced Vaishnav devotees are not interested in seeing such ladies but when 
she or any of their fallen soul becomes a Vaishnav soul, but Vaishnavs are interested in seeing them. Anyone can be turned into Vaishnav if he or she follows the Vaishnav principles. A devotee who follows these principles is no longer on the material platform. Therefore, it is one strict adherence to the principles that should be considered not the country of one's birth. Many devotees join our Krishna consciousness movement from Europe and America, but one should not therefore consider them European Vaishnavs or American Vaishnavs. A Vaishnav is a Vaishnav and should therefore be given all the respect due a Vaishnav. Verse 143, Namaskar. Seeing the sublime character of that lady, everyone was astonished. Everyone glorified the influence of Haridas Thakur and offered him obeisances. Purport, it is said, Falena Parichiyate, one is recognized by the result of his actions in Vaishnav society. There are many types of Vaishnavs. Some of them are called Goswami, some are called Swami, some are Prabhus and some are Prabhupada. One is not recognized, however, simply by such a name. A spiritual master is recognized as an actual guru when it is seen that he has changed the character of his disciples. Haridas Thakur actually changed the character of the professional prostitute. People greatly appreciated this and therefore they all offered obeisances to Haridas Thakur and glorified him. Verse 144, Ramchandra Khan Aparad Bij Kaila Se Bij Vrikshahena Agyete Falila By inducing a prostitute to disturb Haridas Thakur Ramchandra Khan caused a great a seed of offense at his lotus feet to germinate. This seed later became tree and when it fructified Ramchandra Khan ate its fruits. Verse 145 Mahad Aparadhe Fal Adbut Kathan Prastav Pana Kahishuna Bhaktagan. This offense at the lotus feet of an exalted devotee has resulted in a wonderful narration. Taking advantage of the opportunity afforded by these incidents, I shall explain what happened. O devotees, please listen. Verse 146. Sahajai Avaishnav Ramachandra Khan Harida Ser Aprate Haila Asur Saman. Ramchandra Khan was naturally a non devotee. Now, having offended the lotus feet of Haridas Thakur, he became just like a demonic atheist. Verse 147 Vaishnav Dharma Ninda Kare Vaishnav Apaman Bahu Diner Aparadhe Paila Parinam. Because of blaspheming the cult of Vaishnavism and insulting the devotees, for a long time he now received the results of his offensive activities. Purport Ramchandra Khan was a great offender at the lotus feet of the Vaishnavs and Vishnu, just as Raman, although born of a Brahman father, Vish Vashrava, he was. Nevertheless, called Asur or Rakshas, because of his offences against Lord Ramchandra and Anuman, who was a Vaishnav, so Ramchandra Khan also became such an Asur because of his offences against Haridas Thakur and many others. Verse 140: Nityananda Gosani Gaude Yabe Aila Prema Paricharite. When Lord Nityananda returned to Bengal to preach the cult of Bhakti, love of Godhead, he began touring all over the country. Verse 149 Prem Pracharan Ar Dalan For two purposes to spread the cult of Bhakti and to defeat this and subdue the atheist, Lord Nityananda, the most dedicated devotee of the Lord, moved throughout the country. Purport as stated in Bhagavad Gita 4.8, Paritranaya Sadhunam Vinashaya Dushkritam Tam Dharma Samsthapana Thaya Sambhavami Yuge Yuge. Lord Krishna appears in every millennium for two purposes, namely to deliver the devotees and to kill the non devotees. His devotees also have two similar purposes to preach the Bhakti cult of Krishna consciousness and to defeat all kinds of agnostics and atheistic demons. Nityananda Prabhu carried out the order of Lord Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu in this way and those who strictly follow Nityananda Prabhu perform the same activities. There are two classes of devotees. One is called Goshti Anandi and another is called Bhajananandi. A devotee who does not preach but always engages in devotional service is called Bhajananandi. Whereas a devotee who, do not, who not only is expert in devotional service but also preaches the cult of bhakti 
and defeats all kinds of agnostics is called Goshti Anandi. Verse 150 Sarvajana Nityananda Aila Tar Gare Asiya Vasila Durga Mandap Upare Lord Nityananda, who is omniscient because he is the Supreme Personality of Godhead, came to the house of Ramchandra Khan and sat down on the altar of Durga Mandap. Proper well to do Hindu gentlemen constructed their houses with the place called the Durga Mandap for the worship of Goddess Durga. There they generally held worship of the goddess every year in the month of Ashwin, September, October. Ramchandra Khan possessed such Durga Mandap at his residence. Verse 151 Anek Lok Jana Sange Angana Bharila Bhitar Haite Ramchandra Sevak Pathaila. When the Durga Mandap and courtyard became filled with core crowds of men, Ramchandra Khan, who was inside the house, sent his servant to Lord Nityananda. Prabhupada, in those days and also even now, the palatial buildings of respectable people, especially in the villages of Bengal, were divided into two parts. The inside part was especially meant for the family and the ladies who lived there unexposed to men. That part was called the Bhitar Bari. For inside house and the outside house of Bahir Bari, the respectable gentleman received visitors and kept his business office. The Durga Mandap would be part of the outside house. Thus, when Lord Nitanda entered the outside house, Ramchandra Khan was in the inside house with the members of his family. When Nitanda Prabhu arrived, Ramchandra Khan did not receive him personally, but sent his servant to inform him indirectly to go away. Verse 152 Sevak Bale Gosani Mor Pathaila Khan Grihasthir Ghare To Mai Diva Vasa Sthan. The servant informed Lord Nityananda, My dear Sir Ramchandra Khan has sent me to accommodate you in some common man's house. Verse 153 Goyalar Goshala Hai Atyant Vistar Iha Sankirtan Sthal Tomar Manushya Par. You might go to the house of a milkman, for the cow shed is spacious, where the space here in the Durga Mandap is insufficient because you have many followers with you. Verse 154 Bhitare Achila Shuni Krodhe Bahirila Ata Ata Hasi Gosani Kahite Lagila. When Nitananda Prabhu heard this order from the servant of Ramchandra Khan, he became very angry and came out laughing out. Laughing very loudly, he spoke as follows. Verse 155 Satya Kahe Eghar Mor Yogya Naya Mlecha Govad Kare Tar Yogya Haya. Ramchandra Khan has spoken right. This place is unfit for me. It is fit for cow killing meat eaters. One fifty six verse. Eta bali krote ko sani uthiya chalila tare tandite se grame na rahila. Having said this, Lord Nityananda stood up and left in an angry mood to chastise Ramchandra Khan. He did not even stay in that village. Verse one hundred fifty seven. Iha Ramchandra Khan sevak ke ajna dila. Gosani yaha vasila tar mati khudaila. Daila. Ramchandra Khan ordered the servant to dig up the dirt in the place where Nityananda Prabhu had sat. Verse 158 Gomaya Jale Lepila Sab Mandir Prangan Prabhu Ramchandrera Manalna Haila Prasanna. To purify the Durga Mandap temple and the courtyard, Ramchandra Khan sprinkled and smeared it with water mixed with cow dung, but still his mind was unsatisfied. Verse 159 Dashyu Kriti Kare Ramchandra Rajare Nati Akara Krudh Hena Malecha Ujra Ujira Aila Targhara Ramchandra Khan's business was questionable for he tried to avoid paying income tax to the government. Therefore, the government's minister of finance was angry and came to his residence. Verse 160 Asi Se Durga Mandape Vasa Kaila Avadhya Padhakari Mams Se Ghare Randhaila. The Muslim minister made his residence in the Durga Mandap of Ramchandra Khan. He killed the cow and cooked the meat at that very place. Verse 161 Stri Putra Sahit Ramchandra Bandhya Tar Ghar Gram Lute Teen Din Rahiya. He arrested Ramchandra Khan along with his wife and son, and then he continuously plundered the house and village for three days. Verse 162 Say Kare Teen Dinakare Amethya 
ಸ್ಕಂದನ ಆರು ದಿನ ಸಭ ಲೇನ ಕರಿಲ ಗಮನ ಇನ್ ದಟ್ ವೆರಿ ರೂಮ್ ಯು ಕಿಪ್ ದ ಫ್ಲಾಶ್ ಆಫ್ ಕಾ ಫಾರ್ ತ್ರೀ ಕನ್ಸಕ್ಯೂಟಿವ್ ಡೇಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ದ ನೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಡೇ ಹಿ ಲೆಟ್ ಅ ಕಂಪ್ನಿ ಬೈ ಹಿಸ್ ಫಾಲೋವರ್ಸ್ ವರ್ಸ್ ಒನ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ತ್ರೀ ಜಾತಿ ಧನ ಜನ ಖಾನೇರ ಸಕಲ ಲೈಲ ಬಹು ದಿನ ಪ್ರಯಂತ ಗ್ರಾಮ ಉಜಾಡ ರಹಿಲ ಮುಸ್ಲಿಮ್ ಮಿನಿಸ್ಟರ್ ಟು ಕವೇ ರಾಮಚಂದ್ರ ಖಾನ್ಸ್ ಪೊಸಿಷನ್ ವೆಲ್ತ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಫಾಲೋವರ್ಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ಮೆನಿ ಡೇಸ್ ದ ವಿಲೇಜ್ ರಿಮೈನ್ ಡಿಸರ್ಟೆಡ್ ವರ್ಸ್ ಒನ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಫೋರ್ ಮಹಾನ್ ತೇರ ಅಪಮಾನ ಯೇ ದೇಶ ಗ್ರಾಮ ಹಯ ಏಕ ಜನಾರ್ ದೋಷೆ ಸಬ್ ದೇಶ ಉಜಾಡೆಯ ಫರ್ ಎವರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಅಡ್ವಾನ್ಸ್ ಡಿವೋಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಇನ್ಸಲ್ಟೆಡ್ ಫಾರ್ ಒನ್ ಮ್ಯಾನ್ಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ದ ಎಂಟೈರ್ ಟೌನ್ ಆರ್ ಪ್ಲೇಸಿಸ್ ಅಫ್ಲಿಕ್ಟೆಡ್ ವರ್ಸ್ ಒನ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಫೈವ್ ಹರಿದಾಸ್ ಠಾಕುರ್ ಚಲಿ ಆಯಿಲ ಚಾಂದಪುರೆ ಹಾಸಿಯ ರಹಿಲ ಬಲರಾಮ್ ಆಚಾರ್ಯ ರಖರೆ ಹರಿದಾಸ್ ಠಾಕುರ್ ವಾಕ್ಡ್ ಅಂಟಿಲ್ ಹಿ ಕೇಮ್ ಟು ದ ವಿಲೇಜ್ ನೋನ್ ಆಸ್ ಚಾಂದಪುರ ವೇರ್ ಹಿ ಸ್ಟೇ ಅಟ್ ದ ಹೌಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಬಲರಾಮ್ ಆಚಾರ್ಯ ಪ್ರಾಪರ್ ದ ವಿಲೇಜ್ ಆಫ್ ಚಾಂದಪುರ ಇಸ್ ಸಿಚುವೇಟೆಡ್ ನಿಯರ್ ದ ಕಾನ್ಫ್ಲೆನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ರಿವರ್ ಗ್ಯಾಂಜಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಯಮುನಾ ಇನ್ ಸಪ್ತ ಗ್ರಾಮ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಡಿಸ್ಟ್ರಿಕ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಹುಗ್ಲಿ ಚಾಂದಪುರ ಇಸ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಈಸ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಹೌಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಟೂ ಬಿಲರ್ಸ್ ಗೋವರ್ಧನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಹಿರಣ್ಯ ದ ಫಾದರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಅಂಕಲ್ ಆಫ್ ರಘುನಾಥ್ ದಾಸ್ ಗು ಸ್ವಾಮಿ ರೆಸ್ಪೆಕ್ಟಿವ್ಲಿ ಇನ್ ಚಾಂದಪುರ ಲಿವ್ಡ್ ಬಲರಾಮ್ ಆಚಾರ್ಯ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಯದು ನಂದನ್ ಆಚಾರ್ಯ ದ ಪ್ರೀಸ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದೀಸ್ ಟು ಪರ್ಸ್ನಾಲಿಟೀಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ವೆನ್ ಹರಿದಾಸ್ ಠಾಕೂರ್ ವೆನ್ ದೇರ್ ಹಿ ಲಿವ್ ವಿತ್ ದೆಮ್ ಶಿಲ ಭಕ್ತಿ ವಿನಾ ಸಿದ್ಧಾಂತ್ ಸರಸ್ವತಿ ಠಾಕೂರ್ ಸೇಜ್ ದಟ್ ದ ನೇಮ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ವಿಲೇಜ್ ವಾಸ್ ಲೇಟರ್ ಚೇಂಜ್ ಟು ಕೃಷ್ಣಪುರ ವರ್ಸ್ ಹಂಡ್ರೆಡ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ಟಿ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಹಿರಣ್ಯ ಗೋವರ್ಧನ್ ದೂಯಿ ಮುಲುಕೇರ್ ಮಜುಮದಾರ್ ತಾರ್ ಪುರೋಹಿತ ಬಲರಾಮ್ ನಾಮ್ ತಾಂಡ್ರ ಹಿರಣ್ಯ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಗೋವರ್ಧನ್ ವರ್ ದ ಟೂ ಗವರ್ಮೆಂಟಲ್ ಟ್ರೆಜರರ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಡಿವಿಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಕಂಟ್ರಿ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಪ್ರೀಸ್ಟ್ ವಾಸ್ ನೇಮ್ ಬಲರಾಮ್ ಆಚಾರ್ಯ ಪರ್ಫೆಕ್ಟ್ ದ ನೇಮ್ ದ ವರ್ಡ್ ಮಜುಂದಾರ್ ರಿಫರ್ಸ್ ಟು ಅ ಟ್ರೆಜರರ್ ಹೂ ಕೀಪ್ಸ್ ಅಕೌಂಟ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ರೆವೆನ್ಯೂ ವರ್ಸ್ ಒನ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಸೆವೆನ್ ಹರಿದಾಸೇರ ಕೃಪಾ ಪಾತ್ರ ತಾತೆ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಮಾನೆ ಯತ್ನ ಕರಿ ಠಾಕುರೇರೆ ಅಖಿಲ ಸೈ ಗ್ರಾಮೆ ಬಲರಾಮ್ ಆಚಾರ್ಯ ಬಿಂಗ್ ಫೇವರ್ಡ್ ಬೈ ಹರಿದಾಸ್ ಠಾಕೂರ್ ವಾಸ್ ವೆರಿ ಮಚ್ ಅಟ್ಯಾಚ್ ಟು ಹಿಮ್ ದೇರ್ ಫೋರ್ ಹಿ ಕೆಪ್ ಹರಿದಾಸ್ ಠಾಕೂರ್ ಇನ್ ದ ವಿಲೇಜ್ ವಿತ್ ಗ್ರೇಟ್ ಕೇರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಅಟೆನ್ಷನ್ ವರ್ಸ್ ಒನ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಏಟ್ ನಿರ್ಜನ ಪರಣ ಶಾಲಾಯ ಕರೆನ ಕೀರ್ತನ್ ಬಲರಾಮ್ ಆಚಾರ್ಯ ಗೃಹೆ ಭಿಕ್ಷಾ ನಿರ್ವಹಣೆ ಇನ್ ದ ವಿಲೇಜ್ ಹರಿದಾಸ್ ಠಾಕೂರ್ ವಾಸ್ ಗಿವನ್ ಅ ಸಾಲಿಟ್ರಿ ಥ್ಯಾಸ್ಟ್ ಕಾಟೇಜ್ ವೇರ್ ಹಿ ಪರ್ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ದ ಚಾಂಟಿಂಗ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಮಹಾಮಂತ್ರ ಹಿ ಎಕ್ಸೆಪ್ಟೆಡ್ ಪ್ರಸಾದ ಮೆಟ್ ದ ಹೌಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಬಲರಾಮ್ ಆಚಾರ್ಯ ವರ್ಸ್ ಒನ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ನೈನ್ ರಘುನಾಥ್ ದಾಸ್ ಬಾಲಕ್ ಕರೆನ ಅಧ್ಯಯನ ಹರಿದಾಸ್ ಠಾಕೂರ್ ಹೇರೆ ಯಾಯ ಕರೆನ್ ದರ್ಶನ್ ರಘುನಾಥ್ ದಾಸ್ ಹೂ ವಾಸ್ ದ ಸನ್ ಆಫ್ ಗೋವರ್ಧನ್ ಮಜುದಾರ್ ವಾಸ್ ಲೇಟರ್ ಟು ಬಿಕಮ್ ರಘುನಾಥ್ ದಾಸ್ ಗು ಸ್ವಾಮಿ ವಾಸ್ ಎಟ್ ದಟ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಅ ಬಾಯ್ ಎಂಗೇಜ್ ಇನ್ ಸ್ಟಡಿ ಹಿ ಕೇಮ್ ಟು ಸೀ ರೆ ದಾಸ್ ಠಾಕೂರ್ ಡೇಲಿ ವರ್ಸ್ ಒನ್ ಸೆವೆನ್ ಜೀರೋ ಹರಿದಾಸ್ ಕೃಪಾ ಕರೆ ತಾರ್ ಉಪರೆ ಸೇ ಕೃಪಾ ಕಾರಣ ಹೈಲ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪಾಯಿ ಬಾರೆ naturally haridas thakur was merciful toward him and because of the merciful benediction of this vaishnav he later attained the shelter of shri chaitanya mahaprabhu's lotus feet verse 171 tahan yai che hailar haridas se mahima kathan vyakhyan adbhut katha shuna bhakt gana at the residence of hiranya govardhan discourses took place by which haridas thakur was glorified all devotees places into that wonderful story ವರ್ಸ್ ಹಂಡ್ರೆಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಸೆವೆಂಟಿ ಟು ಏಕದಿನ್ ಬಲರಾಮ್ ಮಿನತಿ ಕರಿಯ ಮಜುಮ್ ದಾರೇರ್
as if they had five mouths. Hearing this, both brothers were extremely happy. Verse 176. Teen election naam thakur kare na kirtan na mere mahima uthaila pandit kana. It was mentioned in the assembly that Haridas Thakur chanted the holy names of the Krishna three hundred thousand times a day. Thus, all the learned scholars began to discuss the glories of the holy name. Verse one seven seven. Keha bale naam haite haya paapakshaya. Keha bale naam haite jivere mokshaya. Some of them said by chanting the holy name of the Lord, one is freed from the reactions of all sinful activities. Others said. Purport, others said simply by chanting the holy name of the Lord, a living being is liberated from material bondage. Verse one seven eight. Haridas kahena na mere e dui phal naya, na mere phale Krishna pade prem upujaya. Haridas Thakur protested, these two benedictions are not the true results of chanting the holy name. Actually, by chanting the holy name without offences, one awakens his ecstatic love for the lotus feet of Krishna. Verse 179, Evam Vrataha Swapriya Nam Kirtya Jatang Nurago Vrutha Chitta Uchay Hasati Atho Rodhiti Rauti Gayati Unmad Van Nritayati Lok Bahaya When a person is actually advanced and takes pleasure in chanting the holy name of the Lord who is very dear to him, he is agitated and loudly chants the holy name. He also loves Christ, becomes agitated and chants like a madman, not caring for outsiders. Purport for an explanation of this verse. Bhagavatam 11.2.40 One may consult chapter 7, text 94 of the Adi Lila. Verse 180 Anusangika Kal Namer Mukti Papanash Tahara Drishtant Yaiche Suryer Prakash Liberation and extinction of the reactions of sinful life are two concomitant five products of uh, chanting the holy name of the Lord. An example is found in the gleams of morning sunlight. Verse 181 Amha Samharad Akhilam Sakrid Udayad Ev Sakal Lokasya Taranahir Ev Timira Jaladhim Jayati Jagan Mangalam Hariyatnam. As the rising of sun immediately dissipates all the world's darkness, which is deep like an ocean, so the holy name of the Lord, if chanted once without offenses, dissipates all the reactions of the living beings, sinful life, all glories to that holy name of the Lord, which is auspicious for the entire world. Purport this verse is found in Padyavali 16, an anthology of verses compiled by, compiled by Sri uh, Rupa Goswami. Verse 22, e Shlokera Arthakara Panditera Gana Sade Kahe Tumi Kaha Arthavi Varanam. After reciting this verse, Harita Sarkur said, O learned scholars, please explain the meaning of this verse. Purport but the audience requested Harita Sarkur, it is better for you to explain the meaning of this important verse. Verse 183. Hridas kahena yaiche surya radaya udaya nahaite arambhe tumer haya kshaya. Hridas Thakur said, as the sun begins to rise, even before it is visible, it dissipates the darkness of night. Verse 184, chor preta raksha sa dira bhaya haya nash udaya haile dharma karma adi prakash. With the first glimpse of sunlight, fear of thieves, ghosts and demons immediately disappears and when the sun is actually visible, everything is manifest and everyone begins performing his religious activities and regulated duties. Verse 185 I chain namo dayaram bhe paap adira kshaya udaya kaile krishna padehaya premodaya Similarly, the first hint that offenseless chanting of the Lord's holy name has awakened dissipates the reactions of sinful life immediately. And when one chants the holy name offenselessly, one awakens to service in ecstatic love at the lotus feet of Krishna. Verse 186. Mukti Tuchya Phala Haya Nama Bhas Haite Liberation is an insignificant result 
derived from a glimpse of the awakening of offenseless chanting of the holy name. Verse 187, Mriyanam Mriyamano Pared Nam Grinan Puto Pacharitam Ajamilo Api Agad Dham Kim Uta Shuddhaya Grinan. While dying a Jamil, while dying a Jamil chanted the holy name of the Lord, at, intending to call his son Narayan, nevertheless he attained the spiritual world. What tend to speak of those who chant the holy name with faith and reverence purport this is a verse from Srimad Bhagavatam 6.2.49 verse 188 ye mukti bhakt na lai se krishna chahe dite liberation which is unacceptable for a pure devotee is always offered by krishna without difficulty verse 189 shalokya sarishti sarupya samik Kautvam api uta diyamanam na grihananti vina mat sevanam jana. My devotees do not accept Shalokya, Sarishti, Sarupya, Samipya, or oneness with me, even if I offer these liberations in preference to serving me. This verse is spoken by Lord Kapil, an avatar of the Supreme Personality of Godhead. In Srimad Bhagavatam 3.29.13 Verse 190 Gopal Chakravarti Nam Ek Jana Majumda Rer Ghare Se Harinda Pradhan At the house of Hiranyan Govardhan Majumda, a person named Gopal Chakravarti was officially the chief tax collector. Verse 199 Gode Rahi Patsaha Aage Arinda Giri Kare Bar Laksh Mudra Se Patsar Thani Bhare. This Gopal Chakravarti lived in Bengal. His duty as chief tax collector was to collect 1,200,000 coins to deposit in the treasury of the emperor. Verse 192 Param Sundar Pandita Nutana Yavana Nama Bhase Mukti Sunshuni Naha Ila Sahana. He had handsome bodily features. And he was learned and youthful, but he could not tolerate the statement that simply by glimpsing the awakening of the Lord's holy name, one can attain liberation. Purport Vaishnav strictly follow the directions of the Shastras regarding how one can be liberated simply by a slight awakening of pure chanting of the holy name. Mayavadis cannot tolerate the statements of the Shastras how easily liberation can be achieved. For as stated in the Bhagavad Gita 12.5, Klesho Dhik Taras Desham Avyak impersonalists must work hard for many many births and only then they will perhaps be liberated Vaishnavs know that simply by chanting the holy name of the Lord offenselessly one achieves liberation as a byproduct thus there is no need to endeavor separately for liberation Srila Guru Mangal Thakur had said Mukti Swayam Mukti Anjali Sar Sevate Sman liberation stands at the at one's door and ready to Render and any kind of service if one is a pure devotee with unflinching faith and reverence. This the Mayavads, Vadis cannot tolerate. Therefore, the Arinda Pradhan, a chief tax collector, although very learned, handsome, and youthful, could not tolerate the statements of Haridas Thakur. Verse 193 Kruddhena Bale Se Sarosha Vachana. Bhavu ke rasiddhanta shuna pandite regana. This young man, Gopal Chakravarti, became very angry upon hearing the statements of Haridas Thakur. He immediately criticized him. O assembly of learned scholars, he said, just hear the conclusion of the emotional devotee. Verse 194. Koti janme brahma jnani ye mukti nayan e kahe nama bhase se mukti haya. Uh, after many millions upon millions of births, when one is complete in absolute knowledge, one may not attain liberation. Yet this man says that one may attain it simply by awakening of a glimpse of the holy name. Haridasakur said, Why are you doubtful? 
the revealed scriptures say that one can attain liberation simply by a glimpse of offenseless chanting of the holy name. Verse 196 Bhakti Sukha Aage Mukti Ati Tuchhaya Atayeva Bhakta Gana Mukti Nahi Lai For a devotee who enjoys the transcendental bliss of devotional service, liberation is most insignificant, therefore, pure devotees never desire to achieve liberation. Verse 197 Trat Sakshat Karana Halad Vishuddhabadhi Stit Stitasya Me Sukhani Goshpadayante Brahmani Guru. My dear Lord, O Master of the Universe, since I have directly seen you, my transcendental bliss has taken the shape of a great ocean. Being situated in that ocean, I now realize all of the so-called happinesses, happiness including even Brahmananda to be like the water contained in the hoof print of a calf. But this verse quoted from Hari Bhakti Subodhya 14.36. Verse 199. Vipra kahe nama bhase yadi mukti naya tabe tumare nak kati karaha nishchaya. Kupal Chakravarti said, If one is not liberated by nama bhas, then you may be certain that I shall cut off your nose. Verse 199. Hari Das kahe na yadi. Nama bhase mukti naya tabe amar nak katimu e shunyeshchaya. Then Haridas Thakur accepted the challenge offered by Gopal Chakravarti. If a Namabhas liberation is not available, he said, Certainly I shall cut off my nose. Verse 200 Shuni sabha sad, sh, sad uthe kari hahakar majumdar se vipre karila dhikar. All the members of the assembly who had heard the challenge very greatly agitated and they got up making a tumultuous sound. Hiranya and Govardhan Majumdar both immediately chastised the Brahman tax collector. collector. Verse 201 Balai Prohita Tare Karila Bharatsana Ghata Patiya Murkha Tuni Bhakti Kahajana the priest named Balram Acharya also chastised Gopal Chakravarti, a foolish logician. He said, How do you know about the devotional service of the Lord? Purport the philosophy enunciated by the Mayavadi is called Ghatta Patiya, pot and earth philosophy. According to the philosophy, everything is one. Such philosophers see no distinction between a pot made for the, of earth and earth itself. Reasoning that anything made of earth, such as different parts, is also same as earth. Since Gopal Chakravarti was a Ghatapatiya magician, a gross materialist, that what could be understood? Since Gopal Chakravarti was Ghatapatiya logician, a gross materialist, could what could he understand about the transcendental? Devotional service of the Lord. Verse 22 Haridas Thakure Tuni Kaili Abaman Sarva Nash Habe Tor and Habe Kalyan. You have insulted Haridas Thakur, thus there will be a dangerous position for you. You should not accept, expect anything auspicious. Verse 23 Shuni Haridas Tabe Uthiya Chali Lama Jumdara Sevi Pray Tiag Karila. Then Haridas Thakur got up to leave, but the Majumdar, the master of Gopal Chakravarti, immediately tricked him kicked him out and dismissed him from their service. Verse 204 Sabha Sahitya Haridas Ere Padi Lacharane Haridas Hasi Kahe Mathur Vachane With all the members of the assembly, the two Majumdas fell at the lotus feet of Haridas Thakur. Haridas Thakur was smiling, however, I spoke in a sweet voice. Verse 5 Tomasa Bar Dosh Nahi E Agya Brahman Tar Dosh Nahi Tar Tark Nishta Mana. None of you are at fault. He said, Indeed, even this ignorant so called Brahman is not a fault, at fault, for he is accustomed to dry speculation and logic. Verse 6 Tarkera Gochar Nahi Na Mir Matva Kotha Haite Jani Be Se E Sab Tatva. 
one cannot understand that Louis of Dohri means simply by logic and argument. Therefore, this man cannot possibly understand that Louis of the Holy name. Verse 27 Yah Ukhar Krishna Karuna Kushal Sabar Amar Sambandit Dukhna Auka Kahar. All of you may now go to your homes. May Lord Krishna bestow his blessings upon you. Do not be sorry because of my being insulted. But from this statement by Das Thakur, it is understood that a pure Vaishnav never takes anyone's insults seriously. This is the teachings of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Trinada Pisume Chinna Sarori Das Vishnuna Amani Ramande Nakirtana Sari. One should chant the holy name of the Lord in a humble state of mind, thinking oneself low. Then the straw in the street, one should be more tolerant than a tree. Devoid of all sense of false prestige and ready to offer all respects to others, in such a state of mind one can chant the holy name of the Lord constantly. A Vaishnava is always tolerant and submissive like trees and grass. He tolerates insults offered by others, for he is simply interested in chanting the holy name of the Lord without being disturbed. As to wait. तबे से हिरण्य दास निजे घरे आइला से ब्राह्मणे निजे द्वार मान कैला देन हिरण्य दास मजुमदार एंटर टू हिज होम रिटर्न टू हिज होम एंड ऑर्डर दैट गोपाल चक्रवर्ती नॉट टू बी एडमिटेड देयरइन 19 दिन भीतरे से भीतरे कुष्ट हैला अति उच्च नाश तार गलिया पड़ेला विद इन 3 डेज दैट ब्राह्मण वाज अटैक्ड बाय लेप्रोसी एंड एज अ रिजल्ट हिज highly raised nose melted away and fell off verse 210 champakali samahast padanguli konakara haila sab kushte gela gali the brahman stores and fingers are beautiful like golden colored champak buds but because of leprosy they all withered and gradually melted away verse 211 tekya sakal loka haila chamatkar harita se prashmasi Tanre Kare Namaskar. Seeing the condition of Gopal Chakravarti, everyone was astonished. Everyone praised the influence of Haridas Thakur and offered him obeisances. Verse 212. Yadipi Haridas Uprera Dosh Na La Ila. Dhapi Ishwar Tare Falad Bhumjaila. Although Haridas Thakur, as a Vaishnava, did not take seriously the Brahmana's offense, the Supreme Personality of Godhead could not tolerate it, and thus he made the Brahmana's suffer the consequences. Verse 2 and 13 Bhakta Subhav Agya Dosha Kshama Kare Krishna Subhav Bhakta Nimta Sahite Na Pare A characteristic of pure devotees that he excuses any offense by an ignorant rascal. A characteristic of Krishna, however, is that he cannot tolerate blasphemy of his devotees. Purport, the characteristic of Vaishnava and the characteristic of the Lord mentioned in this verse are very significant. In this Sikshashtaka, the third verse, Shri Maha, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has taught the characteristics of a Vaishnava. Trinada Pisumi Chena Taro Iva Sahishuna Amanina Mandena Kirtana Stari. A Vaishnava strictly follows his, this principle of being humbler than the grass and more tolerant than a tree, expecting no honor from others but offering honor to everyone. In this way, a Vaishnava is simply interested in chanting about the Supreme Personality of Godhead and glorifying Him. Hiridas Thakur epitomized this foremost order of Vaishnavism. Krishna, however, cannot tolerate an insults or blasphemy against a Vaishnava. For example, Prahlad Maharaj was chastised by his father in Nakashipu in so many ways, but although Prahlad tolerated this, Krishna did not. The Lord, therefore, came in the form of Nrsimha Dev to kill him in Nakashipu. Although Srila Haridas Thakur tolerated the insult by Gopal Chakravarti, Krishna could not. The Lord immediately punished Gopal Chakravarti by making him suffer from leprosy. While instru instructing Srila Rupa Goswami about the many restrictive rules and regulations for Vaishnava, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has very vividly described the effects of offenses at the lotus of feet of a Vaishnava. Yadi Vaishnava Aparad Ute Haite Hati Mata Madhilila Chapter 19, verse 156. Offending or blaspheming a Vaishnava has been described as the greatest offense and it has been compared to a mad elephant. When a mad elephant enters a garden, it ruins 
all the creepers, flowers and trees. Similarly, if a devotee properly executing his devotional service becomes an offender at the lotus feet of a spiritual master or another Vaishnav, his devotional service is spoiled. Question 14. Viprera kushta shuni haridas mane dukhi haila balai purohite kahi shantipur aila. Haridas Thakur was unhappy when he heard that the Brahman Gopal Chakravarti had been attacked by leprosy. Thus, after informing Balrama Charya, the priest of Hiranyamachindar, he went to Shantipur, the home of Advaita Charya. Uh, 215. Acharya Milya Kaila Dandavat Pranam Advaita Alingan Kari Karila Samman upon meeting Advaita Charya and Das Thakur offered him respect and obeisances. Advaita Charya embraced him and showed him, showed respect to him in return. Verse 216 Ganga Tire Gonfa Kari Nirjane Tanre Dila Bhagavata Gitar Bhakti Artishunaila. On the bank of the Ganges in a solitary place, Advaita Charya made a cave like home for Haridas Thakur and spoke to him about the real meaning of Srimad Bhagavatam and the Bhagavad Gita in terms of devotional service. Stuman 7 Acharya Ghare Nitya Bhiksha Nirvahan Dui Jana Mili Krishna Katha Aswadam. Haridas Thakur accepted food daily at the house of Advaita Charya. Meeting together, the two of them would taste the nectar of discourses on the subject matter of Krishna. 218 Haridas Kahe Kosani Kari Nivedane Mora Patya Anna Deha Kon Prayojane Paridas Thakur said, My dear Adveta Chari, let me submit something before your honor. Every day you give me alms of food to eat. What is the necessity of that? Verse 219 Maha Mahavipra Eka Kulina Samaj Niche Adar Kare Navasaha Bhailaj. Sir, you are living within the society of great, great Brahmins and aristocrats, but without fear or shame, you adore a lower class, lower class man like me. Verse 220. Alokika charutamar kaite pai bhaya se kripa kariba yate mor raksha bhaya. My dear sir, your behavior is uncommon indeed. Sometimes I am afraid to speak to you, but please favor me by protecting me from the behavior of society. Purport, while Haridas Thakur was studying under the care of Advaita Chari, he was afraid of the behavior of the society in Shantipura and Navadvip, which was full of exceedingly aristocratic Brahmanas, Kshatriyas and Vaishyas. Haridas Thakur was born in a Muslim family and was later recognized as a great Vaishnav, but nevertheless the Brahmans were very critical of him. Thus Haridas Thakur was afraid that Advaita Chari would be put into some difficulty because of his familiarity with Haridas Thakur. Shri Advaita Charya treated Haridas Thakur as a most elevated Vaishnav, but others like Ramchandra Khan were envious of Haridas Thakur. Of course, we have to follow in the footsteps of Advaita Charya, not caring for people like Ramchandra Khan. At present, many Vaishnavs are coming to our Krishna consciousness movement from among the Europeans and Americans, and all the men like Ramchandra Khan are always envious of such Vaishnavs. One should follow in the footsteps of Shri Advaita Charya by treating all of them as Vaishnavs. Although they are not as exalted as Haridas Thakur, such Americans and Europeans have accepted the principles of Vaishna philosophy and behavior should never be excluded from Vaishna society. So we'll continue our reading from verse 221 next time. Thank you for joining. Haryam Tatsat. Hare Krishna.